What you are looking at now is one of the first ever Minecraft versions, Minecraft Classic. What you are also looking at now is once again, Minecraft Classic. Or is it? This right here is Classic Cube, a project that has existed since 2013, designed to bring Minecraft Classic back to life. It hosts the oldest servers there is, some of which have been running for over 14 years, since early 2010, and is home to a small but very dedicated community. On Classic Cube, you will find some of the most unique projects and game modes I've seen, some of which don't even exist on Minecraft, but it's a community which has been somewhat hidden for over 10 years. Today, we'll find out why 112,092 players are still playing Minecraft Classic. But why not just play Minecraft Classic in the first place? If you search up Minecraft Classic, you can in fact play Classic in the browser. And that's how it was way back in 2010 as well, when Minecraft Classic was just Minecraft. After the release of Minecraft InfDev and the game's directional switch from creative free building to a survival game, Classic stopped receiving updates. And while it still remained playable, Notch planned to slowly phase it out. But for some time, Classic was the only way to play multiplayer mode and creative mode, and many older players preferred it to survival Minecraft, still choosing to play Classic, even after Minecraft Alpha released, bringing multiplayer survival. When Beta 1.8 released in September 2011, Mojang removed the Minecraft Classic resources directory, causing sounds to no longer work, saving levels to online servers becoming impossible, and worlds to get lost. July 2013, the new Minecraft launcher releases, where you could play Classic, and as such, the link to the browser version of Classic, where you could play multiplayer, was removed, although still functional. This was the first nail in the coffin for Minecraft Classic and Classic servers, who now began a very slow death as no new players would discover Classic and find their servers. Things would only get worse from then on out, as throughout 2013 and years later, Classic became essentially unplayable. The server list started breaking and not displaying servers properly, just clicking certain buttons would crash the game, many browsers stopped supporting Classic or had issues with it, and as such, in September 2015, the browser version of Minecraft Classic was removed entirely. After six years, Minecraft Classic was no longer playable at all. Now in May 2019, for the game's 10th anniversary, Minecraft Classic was recreated and made available to play on the Minecraft website, but it was not the same. The old historical communities and servers were long gone, and it didn't support multiplayer in the same way. So, as Minecraft Classic gradually became less and less functional, many of its dedicated players and communities who were not interested in Minecraft survival effectively lost their game and servers. In 2013, a player named Andrew PH would first create Classic Cube. Prior to this, Andrew had spoken with Mojang employees in private IRC channels and got word that Classic was on life support. He got informal permission to re-host the Minecraft Classic client, creating the web website ClassicCube.net and doing so. Two years later in 2015, as the Microsoft acquisition loomed over, another player, Unknown Shadow 200, would develop an entire new game client that was also compatible with the same network protocol Minecraft Classic servers used. This would become known as the Classic Cube client, which is still used today, effectively a modernized version of Minecraft Classic with more features and support. Now, to make it clear, Classic Cube uses none of the original Minecraft code or anything, it's been entirely recreated. The goal obviously was to rectify Mojang's failure to maintain Classic and allow new users to play Classic as it was meant to be played. In the game's first few months, they gradually gained popularity and by 2014 had about 3,700 registered users. Nowadays, Classic Cube has just over 112,000 registered users and roughly 60 servers. It is the last place you can find true Minecraft Classic style servers. Here's what Classic Cube is like nowadays, over 10 years later. You can register an account to play multiplayer or play single player. Single player is normal Minecraft Classic. It's effectively identical, but Classic Cube does have a few cool features. For example, you can click Control to move really quickly, Z to fly, X to no clip. You can change your reach in the settings all the way up to 1024, meaning you can effectively reach, place, and destroy blocks from anywhere. You can turn off block physics entirely, not only preventing sand and gravel from falling, but also water and lava from flowing. 
going. You can customize the GUI, change the render distance, you can even turn on smooth lighting, which didn't exist until Minecraft Beta 1.3. The world saving and loading is much better as well. This is like an upgraded version of Minecraft Classic that still plays and looks exactly the same as Minecraft Classic, which is awesome. You can even completely customize the size of the world, input a seed and change how it generates, and with the huge worlds, the game's extended render distance allows you to see it all. But the real interesting stuff is of course multiplayer and the game's servers. If you click sign in, you'll be greeted with an old school style server list, which as of this video, currently contains about 60 different player run servers. There are a handful of popular game modes present on each of these servers, including the subscribe to the Mr. Epic game mode, one of the best, no pressure of course, as well as the check out my Patreon game mode for exclusive content. Anyways, the first game mode is known as free build and is the true classic Minecraft style that has been around since Minecraft's conception all the way back in 2009. Basically, free build is a small flat world where anybody can build anything freely. Now, these function like they did in Classic, although are more advanced. First of all, you can actually use a more basic version of world edit here, like so. And while just like old Minecraft Classic, griefing is still a small issue, they do have block breaking logs, allowing you to see who destroyed blocks, and also allow some players to claim their builds to protect them. There are lots of different types of free build servers with their own maps that are cool to explore, which we'll get into more a bit later. The second game mode is known as Realms, and is basically a version of free build, but private to you and players you give the world access to. These servers will have commands allowing you to create your own world, which you can control the permissions and properties of. Then there's of course a variety of mini games, like parkour based game modes, capture the flag game modes, some of which have unique mechanics like this laser one, and then we have zombie survival, an MC infected like game mode where players are on a small map and one player becomes infected and the others have to survive a certain period of time, and then lava survival where players have a limited time to build a shelter before lava starts spreading. Some servers even have custom resource packs you can load upon joining, such as probably Classic Cube's most popular server known as Not Awesome 2. There's some fairly unique stuff here, for example the resource pack allows for the creation of somewhat functional doors, enabling a host of different aesthetics. But even cooler are the NPCs giving you in-game tutorials on how to play and use the game's various commands. It's really well done and still fits the Minecraft classic theme perfectly. Anywho, Not Awesome 2, like many of the other servers, actually hosts multiple game modes. Let's check out their free build first, and as you can see, we have two options, classic free build and normal free build. If you join classic free build, you'll see something straight out of 2010. I mean, this is absolutely awesome. There's so many builds around here in such a small area, it really is giving me nostalgia. Normal free build is cool as well, and they even have a custom map and plot allocation set up where players can build whatever they want. Here's one of their mini games known as Crumble, effectively a Minecraft classic version of TNT Run, which works really well. They even have different maps and a voting system. The maps also all look different with unique themes because each has its own resource pack. Then they have a Quake esque like shooter called Gun Game, where you hop around and try to shoot other players. This game mode contains some very cool maps that look really detailed and unique due to the custom textures by the way. Gun game was surprisingly good, the blue lightning your gun fires was really cool. There's also Smile is You, a puzzle game where you control a block with your arrow keys and have to move it around and traverse various puzzles with interesting mechanics. This is super unique, I've never even seen something remotely like this in Minecraft before. But I've saved the best for last, which is Adventure. Adventure is a fully immersive experience where you are flung from the server's hub down into the abyss, eventually ending up in a massive ominous cave. Adventure is like an adventure map. You go about doing random missions, parkour, collecting objects, all with an actual story, cool custom models, and really awesome custom textures that make each section of the adventure feel just so unique. I'm really blown away by the attention to detail here. However, what's most cool is that Not Awesome was originally a Minecraft classic server with videos dating back over 10 years ago. I talked to the server server's owner, Goodly, who mentioned to me that Not Awesome began way back in November 2012, when Classic was still supported by Mojang, but over time, as Classic began to degrade and functions like the serverless broke, Goodly would eventually make it so both Classic Cube and Minecraft Classic players could join in 2013. Then in 2015, when Classic was no longer supported at all, the server fully migrated over to Classic Cube.
YouTube. To date, over 35,000 people have logged onto Not Awesome 2. This is the story for quite a lot of the Classic Cube servers who were abandoned by Mojang and Minecraft Classic's depreciation and forced to migrate over to Classic Cube. One of the oldest servers on Classic Cube, potentially the oldest of all, is known as AU70 Galaxy. If you search that name up on YouTube, you'll actually find a selection of videos, some dating back as early as 2011. AU70 Galaxy is a famous old Minecraft Classic server. Server. In fact, here is an old archive of the Minecraft Classic server list from September 2011 and you can see AU70 Galaxy featured right there. The server has been passed down over time from one owner to another and since the server's inception back in 2010 has seen over 227,000 players join. The server would eventually migrate to Classic Cube as Minecraft Classic depreciated and today they still run the classic style of free build as they did 14 years ago. Jacob CTF is a Capture the Flag server which began way back in February of 2010, originally created at the time to replace another popular CTF server which had shut down. It is still owned and run by the same player over 14 years later, even using the exact same server code. You can find videos of Jacob's CTF server from Minecraft Classic dating all the way back to April of 2010, not even a year after Minecraft was first released by Notch and before Minecraft survival servers were even a thing. It's likely that Jacob CTF is the oldest running Minecraft server, period, and it's incredible that such servers still exist that may actually be older than a significant number of people playing Minecraft today. If we go back to that archive of the old server list, you'll see at the very top, with 137 players online, the most of any server at the time, a server known as Official Opticraft Dev Server. This server still exists on Classic Cube today, with some massive and very cool builds. There also still exists an archive of the server's forums from November 2010, and there are also a few videos from early 2011 showing off the server. It seemed to be quite a popular and serious server for the time, based not only on its high player count, but also due to the size and scale of many of the server's early builds showcased in various videos. These are really, really big and detailed for the time, far bigger than you'd see on most classic servers, and the server also seemed to be one of the first to implement a worlds and rank type system. It's a cool server with a lot of history, that's for sure, and logging on today, it still feels exactly the same, really demonstrating how the server never changed its way. Another older server that was on the archived server list is called The Golden Apple. There are actually about 20 videos of the server from 2011 and 2012, and at one stage in 2014, the server even shut down due to inactivity as a result of Minecraft Classics link being removed from the Minecraft.net page. Two years later, the server would reopen and now exist on Classic Cube and has quite a few unique features, including a bunch of custom textures. So why? Why do people still play Classic Cube? Why haven't they moved on to normal Minecraft now, almost 10 years later? Well, it's simple. Classic Cube not only hosts a variety of Minecraft's oldest servers, but also still has a very similar community from that time. It's a mature community of relaxed players who want to express their creativity and just hang out and have fun. It's not ultra competitive, it's not annoying, and most importantly, it's small and tight-knit, the closest thing to the way communities of Classic servers felt over 14 years ago. There isn't anything else like it in the Minecraft scene, so for those who do want to experience Minecraft as it was all those years ago, this is one of the only avenues. And of course, most of these servers had no choice when Minecraft Classic was no longer supported by Mojang. Classic Cube is a hidden gem. I couldn't show you them all today, but there are dozens of other servers, all with their own years of history and unique game modes as well. If you want to check them out, their website and Discord are linked in the video's description. It's free and only takes like a minute to get playing. Be sure to check out my Patreon for exclusive content and be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching.